Hey guys, before I go into details about the next UTC, I wanted to share a very quick disturbing story that I hope gives some enlightenment to you guys and a sense of urgency to sign up for the next UTC because you just can't make this stuff up. A client of mine has been asking me to meet with a friend of his for the past month. I finally get him in last Thursday. He comes walking in. Within two minutes of me talking to him, I stop him. He's giving me sort of his medical history and everything, which he had already texted me, emailed me, was asking him some, for some clarification. I stopped him. I said, look, man, I said, the way that you look right now, you should be in the hospital. You're sweating, the way you're breathing, the way your skin looks, the way your eyes look, the, the way that you're shaking. I said, I, I cannot believe you drove here. So that kind of set the tone for the, the next hour of me talking to this guy. Now, after I go through an hour's worth of how to move this guy toward a, a healthier life, the first question he says to me, and I assure you this was not a joke, it was not a joking atmosphere. The first thing he said to me was, what about booze? Now, guys, there is a terrible rift between where people think they are and where they actually are in their health. What their habits are, what they do and what they don't do, what they think they need to do, and then what they actually need to do. You know, people, whatever their goal is, oh, I wanna become more flexible. Okay, if you want to become more flexible, how, how much time and effort do you think should go into that? Because how many hours are you just sitting on your ass all day, every day, whether it's at work, in the car, right? Then you go eat, like a lot of people, they go to the gym, they do more sitting on machines. They sit on bikes. They're sitting, sitting, sitting. And yet you're, you're telling me you want to be more flexible or you want to get yourself out of back pain. Think about the seated posture and what that does to your back. So how much time do you think you should devote to fixing that problem, getting hip extension, getting some, being able to get your back even into some extension? How long do you think that should take? Should it be like 50-50? If, if you're in extreme ex flexion for 50% of the time, should it be 50? That would be hours and hours and hours on your part of getting into hip extension, right? How about just 5% of the time? You're still talking about hours. But people want to be able to, you know, accomplish all their goals in 30 minutes once a week. It doesn't work that way. Name a goal. You want to fix your digestion. You think like one conversation will do it. You, 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 the average person, I'm telling you, from my heart, from the, the passion of my being, you don't fucking know what it takes to reverse what you've been doing to yourself for your whole life. Your whole life. And the thing is, is that it's actually not hard to reverse a lot of things if you follow a protocol seriously for eight to 12 weeks. But unfortunately, the average person doesn't have the mental discipline to implement even the most basic of strategies. And, it's, and it is, it is a, an absolute shame. How does this story end? The story ends like this. The guy walks out of the office. My next client's waiting for me. I have the text message to prove this to you guys, okay? I'll show it to you for anybody who wants to challenge me if the story is for real. He walks out the door. I say to my client, I said, you see that guy that just left? He goes, yeah. I said, he'll be dead within the next month. Guys, he died the next day. The next day. So... I have been watching things like this happen, guys, for all too long. It's, it, it, it's, it's, um, it, it, it takes a toll on my being. I, I, I'm, the reason why I run the UTC, the reason why I have chosen to do this you know, for a living is to try to help people. And anybody who's ever met with me in a room one-on-one -on -one knows that I take a very reasonable, very practical approach to helping you from where you are at based on your stuff, okay? The, the UTC on October 15th, I'm trying to address the things that I keep seeing more and more and more. The one thing that you can do for yourself by far that, it, that gives you the most health benefit, it's not even close and it is the most well-researched thing, is to lose weight. 90% of the benefit that you get from your health is in the weight loss itself. It does matter 
in my opinion, not just in my opinion, but the science shows it does matter how you lose the weight. Because as we've discussed many times, 95%, the research shows that 95% of all people who lose weight, within two years, they'll put all of that weight back on and more and more. So it's not a matter of like the diet, it's a matter of a lifestyle. And I know that I keep saying that over and over again, but if you look around the room, when you're in the UTC seminars, you'll see people who have implemented the lifestyle who will tell you they were once 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds heavier and have left that weight off of their bodies, not for a year or two years, but for 10 years plus. You either get it or you don't. So this next UTC, I'm going to refocus on what we're calling the black box. This is one of the things I'll start with. So I'm going to cover many different topics. I'll cover the black box, for, black box first, which is your hormones. What are they? How do we maximize them? There are many hormones to discuss in the body that are extremely consequential to your health and weight loss. We'll talk more about digestion. I'll just go into basics. I've done entire 40-day challenges just on digestion, but we will revisit the basics of digestion. We will revisit the organs, their functions, why they matter, how to keep them healthy. We'll talk about joints and muscles and tendons and ligaments and pain. We're going to, vi we're going to visit pain very specifically and talk about joints and muscles and tendons and ligaments and how the body reacts to pain in muscle in, in tissue in general, and what happens with nerves and in your brain when you're in pain for too long. What, what hormones start to raise in your body when you're in pain too long? How does that have anything to do with weight? It has a lot to do with weight. We're gonna talk about the basics of sleep, even though it's in your manual. We're gonna talk, all this stuff is in your manual. But as you know, when I do the 40 day challenges, I go into greater detail. We're gonna revisit breathing. We're gonna talk about the basics of breathing, why they matter, what the parasympathetic nervous system is, what the sympathetic nervous system is, and what they have to do with losing weight. I'm gonna go a lot into detail about exercise itself. I'm going to show you guys techniques of particular things that really matter when you move. Things that I continue to see people incapable of doing, um, which is causing either neck, shoulder, back, knee or ankle pain or wrist pain. Um, there are basic principles that we have to understand when you're doing this all day with your wrists, so you're driving like this, you're texting like this, you're typing like this, what are the things you need to do, for example, for your hands and wrists and forearms and elbows to mitigate pain going down these things? Guys, if you're like this almost all day, every day, what should you do? How should you do it? How often should you do it? These are the types of things we're going to, to visit, and it's going to be a lot of information as always over the course of 40 days, but I'm looking forward to delving into it. As always, it'll be the most practical information that you're going to get to start to move yourself out of pain, lose weight, and get healthy. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day, and uh, it'll be October 15th. More info will come your way as the date approaches. Have a great day, everybody.